the network. That would take, that would be like a whole like two year process in itself just to do that. Um, mm. But I will yeah. say this is people aren't discovering music from publications anymore. That's not their goal. You go get, you can hire publishers right now, five racks that will get you a hype and be some complex and shit and not going to do anything for you because fans aren't finding music from blogs and publications. They're mm. more so of a solidifier. It's more of a stamp than a place to mm -hmm. get fans. It's more so for your existing fan base or for people that look here to go like, oh shit, this guy's legit because he's been in complex, he's been a hype man. But people who've done that shit know mm -hmm. that they're not getting any real translation on the back end, unless you're already a big artist. But they gain mm -hmm. more from it than you do. So I always tell people like, you realistically don't need to worry about press until you have like a story to tell. And I don't mean like the story being like, mm -hmm. such and such artists dropping a new project. Like, no, it's, it's boring as fuck, let's drop. Like, they're not gonna wanna write about that. It's like a real narrative built out around you and then now you're trying to push your story out. That's when you wanna start talking to press. In the beginning, man, a lot of your stuff really should be built around digital advertising, online marketing, um, and then the real style stuff you brought in, like, uh, meet these people who, like, you know, are, like, are fucking with you and that you can actually get to, because that's going to end up being your leverage when you try to get these publications. They want to know if I write about you, are people going to come read this shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if I write up, write up about you and you post it, how many people are actually going to check it out? Because if it's not mm -hmm. live, then they don't have any incentive to do it, because then they, they're doing more work for you than you're doing for them. Um, but I'll say a lot of it is just like sticking to the online stuff because it's a lot it's a lot less expensive to run a Facebook ad than it is to hire a publisher. Like I said, good publishers mm. don't run you like minimum like thirty five hundred to buy a band. Like that's on the low end. You know what mm. what I'm that's like that, that might be like a, a, a mid level publisher, you know what I'm saying? Someone who's still cutting the teeth. Mm -hmm. But you could put that same money into Facebook ads and YouTube ads and then go directly to people collect their information and then there'll be a lot of shit you can do on your own. Like I said, a lot of it, the game is just information collection. So many artists fuck up that y'all do all these, a lot of these promotional efforts without any real tangible thing coming out of it. So like, I say that the biggest power you really have is the ability to do some of this online stuff and then just take that and start collecting like emails, numbers and shit and then get mm -hmm. to the stuff. Go to the places where you see people like you building those markets. If you see that I'll be running these ads and I got 70 people in Atlanta who added they touch my email list. It was like, cool, we need to start figuring out how you can do something in Atlanta. Like, how can you do a show out there? Um, but yeah, I would say, mm -hmm. like, don't, don't worry about press for like a minute. Like, like, if you started a campaign today, unless you just had the budget for it, like, like I said, the budget and the publicist for it, I wouldn't even start looking at the press for like another like eight months. Like, you should spend the okay, time that. Up and figuring out like a narrative. Oh wow, hell yeah. Okay. So I definitely been developing a smaller narrative. Um so I have an idea of what you're talking about, especially with the whole uh, publicity thing. Um so I guess you could say I feel like I'm on the right track. I just need to continue building up my team so I can have them carry on more of the tasks and what I'm doing. Yeah. It's a bit I'm doing it all by yourself. Your most important team at this point is your content team and your marketing team. Those are your, and then like your performance team, you know, like your DJ and shit. But like from a pushing yourself out standpoint, your content team, your marketing team, that's like 60% of the game right there. It's all okay. content and then getting out digitally. Like any label, any high level manager, anybody would tell you the same shit. Mm. It's the network.